Ready. Play. It's, I think it's the same everywhere. Oh, like you could maybe the ends are better. Oh, it's okay. okay. All right, we'll get started. Donna, you just beat the reigning Wimbledon champion on grass. How do you feel? Um, yeah, it was a great match. She's a great player, especially she was serving really big today, but I mean, probably the whole year. So it was a really tough match for me. And um, But I believe that could win from the beginning of the match. Throughout the whole match, I really believed I could and that I just kind of had to survive her serve and that I would get a couple of chances for sure. Good question. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you said that you survived her serve. Um, you also survived your own serve, really, because uh, I don't think she had a break point all match. Um, and the first set also could have gone your way. So. She had two, did she? Oh, sorry. But, but it, it, sorry, I apologize. But uh, you felt pretty comfortable on serve, certainly in sets two and three anyway. Yeah, I mean, my coach just told me that I had over 70% um, first serve in sets two and three. Um, that's probably my record. So you said, well, I survived my own serve. Um, sometimes my serve is my best friend, but sometimes my biggest enemy, because for me, if I, my serve is going well, I feel much more comfortable in the rest of my game. So that's um, always easier and on grass. If you're serving well, you can get a lot of free points, which is not maybe the case on uh, on grass, on clay. Sure. Next question. Yeah, go ahead. So um, the WTA turns 50 today, I guess. Um, can you tell us what's your favorite moment in the sport? And the favorite mo moment that you've spent, uh, that you had uh, on the tour throughout these years? What's my favorite moment in sports? Uh, no, in tennis. In tennis. Mm. Women's tennis. Hmm. Women's tennis. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what's my favorite moment for me, <laughs> but. Um, I don't know, I feel like in sports there's just so many great moments every single week. Uh, that's the best thing about sports, that's the best thing about tennis, especially because every single week you have a new opportunity. Many weeks you're going to come out losing, but uh, those uh, few, if you're lucky and you do everything right, you will, you will come out winning. And I think um, yeah, it's not an easy sport, but uh, those couple of moments, they make it... Uh, Worthwhile. You're going to be playing Alina Anavesian next. Um, what are your thoughts on her tournament and also her as an opponent? I saw she, that she had uh, two really good wins, and uh, yeah, I saw that she beat Belinda in Paris. Um, I don't know her that well, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, watch her. my coach will watch her game a little bit. Maybe I'll text. Uh, Belinda and uh, will prepare for as if it's any other match. I mean, she definitely wouldn't be. It doesn't matter that she's a lucky loser or a qualifier. She wouldn't be here if she wasn't playing good tennis. So I think nowadays you really, there's no easy matches. Everyone's playing good. So you, every match you have to be at your 100% if you want to win. Are you still with, are you still in collaboration with Pam Shriver? Yeah, she's coming next week to London. I was then going to ask, and uh, you can lean on her a little bit, especially with the grass and Wimbledon and expectations. She's a former... I was hoping that when he asked you about, you know, tennis, women's highlights, you might mention Pam, semifinals, or, or her doubles, but um, yeah, so she's going to be in, in London with you, right? Yeah, she's, she's coming next week in London, and yeah, Pam is great. She's helped me a lot uh, on court, off the court. Um, I think she wishes I played a little bit more doubles. Uh, me and Maria played the doubles last week in Nottingham, and she was like, "Oh, you you guys can try to win one out of your out of my 179 titles." I was like, "Okay, maybe we can win one match. We ended up winning one set, but um, yeah, it's great to have her around. She's uh, most importantly a great person um, and uh, a legend in sports and tennis. So just to be around her is a great privilege." Next question. Mm -hmm. um, what's Donna's secret to beat the Wimbledon champion on grass? 
Um, you know, when I was uh, I was in the car uh, today, driving from warm up to the site, and I was on Twitter, and I saw um, Rodik said that she's the best uh, player on grass right now. So I was like, hmm, let's see, <laughs> let's see about that. Not saying that uh, I'm the best player on grass, far from that, but uh, I think nowadays it's uh, everyone can beat everyone, especially if. Um, if you if you have a good day and if you believe in yourself and you know I think the last couple of months I really believe that I belong at the top with these players so sometimes um, for me it's sometimes very frustrating if I'm I don't know not physically 100% or if I'm sometimes uh, losing some matches that uh, even I don't exactly know why but trying to work with it on my team try to improve every single day because at the end of the day I have a lot of um, expectations for myself and uh, I am almost back at my highest uh, career high ranking but uh, I don't want to st stop here I want to keep pushing to maybe even have a bigger ranking maybe um, win some bigger titles um, I don't know but I, I do think it's a possibility I mean you are having a pretty good year, you had a really good Australian Open, I mean you lost to the eventual winner there in, in Sabalenka. Um, what are your expectations now after today, both here in Berlin but also in Wimbledon? Yeah, um, expectations is something that's very difficult to manage, has been difficult for my entire career and uh, it kind of uh, was a big frustration, big disappointment for me in Roland Garros after losing second round. I mean, Bernardo, she played a great match, but you know, I expected uh, more for myself. I wanted more for myself. So yeah, also coming uh, into grass season, I was like, okay, this is my surface. I kind of have to play well now. So Nottingham didn't go as well as I wanted, but uh, slowly building my confidence. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I wish I could tell you what's going to happen in Wimbledon. I would be, I would love to know, for, to wake up the, the day after and the, after the tournament and know how far I got. It would be a little bit easier for me as well. But um, yeah, it's not easy to deal uh, with the pressure, especially the pressure you put on yourself. And uh, I, uh, I'm expecting big things for myself, not just in Wimbledon, but for the rest of the year. So let's see. Anything else? Thanks, Donna. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.